Hello, my darlings. It's ALB in Whisperland here. Thank you so much for joining me for tonight's video. We are going to be doing an unboxing of all of this gorgeous makeup. This collection is the Moonlight Mermaid collection from Flower Nose. I haven't taken a look at really any of the individual products yet, so I'm very excited to unbox them and hopefully you'll find it interesting as well as hopefully pretty to look at. <laughs> if you haven't already seen them or you're new to my channel, I have a whole series of videos in this style, so please check them out. I've done the Rococo, Strawberry Rococo, and the Chocolate Shop as well. The links to those will, of course, be in my description. So taking a look at all of these lovely goodies, Flower Nose sent me these for review, and I thought, let's all look at them together. You know, it's way more fun to do it together. So, we've got some eyeliners here, some setting powders over here. I'm very interested in checking these out. Uh, we've got some eyeshadow palettes, some pressed blushes, and then scattered all around some lip gloss colors as well. This collection has And I'm totally a perfume guy, so I can't wait to check those out and give them a little sniff. It's gonna be awesome. So, without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. I thought it would be fun to start with some of the, like, non-makeup parts of this line. So, to start, we have this um, mirror. If you're not familiar with this line, they do usually um, hand mirrors with like every collection. So we've got a couple of different hand mirrors with this one. Uh, they're just by color, so this one is called Pearl. We will, of course, open all three, but we'll start with the Pearl. We can hear it. also this little um, sort of crystal shaped sparkle. It's quite beautiful. I'm interested to see if the other colors are really similar to this or if they look super different. So that's the pearl one. We'll just put that right here for a minute. We're obviously gonna have to uh, reorganize things a lot during our unboxing, but so it goes. Do all the mirrors at this point. It could be 
fun. It would be easy to compare them, right? So this mirror is called blue. That's the color this one's in. I'll go ahead and open that. The packaging isn't uh, super interesting for this. It's sort of just like a galaxy in space. There's a lovely moon, different moon cycle symbols at the top here. Name Flower and Hills Midnight Mermaid series and the mirror. Beautiful. Okay, let's open it up. This is the mirror in blue. It is very striking. I think this is prettier than the pearl one, in my opinion. Just the dark blue. There's sort of like a midnight color. Actually, I think it's a better look in this color for the clear plastic. You get that really nice sort of rose gold metal finish. And I don't know if it's just me, but the blue on this one kind of highlights the holographic quality that the little sparkle has, and it makes it more obvious, the like, jewel crystallization theme. Just my opinion, but I, I like this one better, even though typically I would go for like, the silver. There's something about the dark blue that I think is just beautiful. It kind of reminds me of like, she -Ra, like there's something quite beautiful about this. There's little details in the design too. Hanging jewels along the sides here and along the handle as well. There's like more sparkles and filigree. I think a hand mirror is a good thing to have for when you're doing your makeup on the go and to sort of have it at your vanity. It's nice to have this for when you're doing like a mascara because you always have to tilt your head in a funny way for could be just me, but that's my experience, and it's nice to have a handheld mirror for when you're doing that. So that's the blue one. And last but certainly not least, we have this pink mirror. It's sort of got an ombre pink to gray on the outside of the packaging. It sort of feels like a, I don't know, that like right before sunset coloring. Okay, the pink, I mean, come on. I don't know why, but I wasn't really expecting much pink product in this collection at all because most of the packaging of these products is like silver and gold and blue. So I thought, you know, everything is probably going to be silver and gold and blue, but oh, pink mirror too. I mean, it's got all those great so they all have, all the mirrors have really, really neat details. It sort of looks like a compass, but also a starburst. With the mermaids all around. Lovely sparkles. But I don't know, there's something about this pink shape and the handle. Very nice. I mean, it's so typical of me to like the pink one, but I just think the handle something like a magical girl item, like maybe Precure or Sailor Moon. It's really pretty. You know, every once in a while, I give, you know, these types of things to friends, but I really, I have to keep this one for myself. The pink is too good. I just love it. If I had to pick one besides the pink, I would definitely go blue. Both of the uh, colored mirrors, I think, look good in this clear plastic. The clear one, I think, it doesn't look quite as nice. But the um, pink and blue mirrors, I think, are really pretty. I mean, let's take 
take a look at them together. What do you guys think? Do you like the pink, the clear, or the blue the best? What's more your style? The blue has a really cool look. actually. So we have two perfumes here. One is this lovely pink gray galaxy packaging and one is this dark blue navy galaxy starry night. They're Luna Forever Blooming Flower. Which one should we open first? I think I'm gonna do this one. Forever Blooming Flower. We'll do the pink one first. So, the outside of this packaging isn't too, too interesting. It says that the perfume is 50 milliliters. So, it's like on the smaller side of a perfume, but, you know, pretty average. Moon here on the back, and that on the top. The name and the bottom, we actually have a little mermaid. How cute is that? Actually, this looks like a good angle to open it.
I'll start there. That's gonna get some juice up into the uh, straw. First impressions, very, very floral. It smells a lot like jasmine to me, which I like. Um, I'm also getting like maybe a little gardenia sort of smell. You'll have to bear with me because I'm not a scent expert. I also feel like I'm getting a little bit of vetiver. And I only think that because I have the, um, Deodorant that's vetiver, and it's kind of reminding me of that just a little bit. I like this, you know, I'm not usually a floral person, it has to be said. I typically don't really go for florals, but there's something about this jasmine that I'm liking a lot. This is definitely like a, I mean, there's no rules, you could wear it, whatever, but I would think of this more as a spring, summer scent someone who cares about that. It reminds me in a really good way of uh, when I was in Japan because a lot of stores would um, perfume their, their stores and their shops with jasmine. It was such a popular scent over there. I kind of started to like it even though before that trip I never really loved jasmine. And now I kind of like it. I will be interested to see if I reach for this one a lot, because like I said, I'm not huge into florals, but that actually makes me wonder, what is the other perfume? I have no idea. I mean, beautiful bottle. a beautiful deep blue color. Reminds me of like the ocean. It's kind of pretty. I think I'm able to see the gradient a little bit better in this one with that deep blue at the top and then it goes to a lighter color here at the bottom. Very beautiful. So this is Luna Goddess Tree. Sure, I can get this sticky off with like a goo gone or rubbing alcohol or something. Oh, why, why, why do stickers leave this foam behind? It's so annoying. I mean, on this, I guess it can't be helped, but isn't it even the most annoying when you're buying something from the store and the sticker is on it in such a way that it's like, oh, such a hassle to get off. Why? <laughs> I wish, I wish stores didn't do me bananas. Okay, back on track. So we have the beautiful label on the front here with like a little castle motif as well. I wonder if it's like the underwater palace like Atlantis where all of the mermaids live and gather. This feels just like a gorgeous item, doesn't it? Like even to hold in your hand, this feels like a magical item in a video game. Like a potion. And the lovely mermaid on the top here, also in this uh, rose gold color. So it's the same metal running through both perfume bottles. Gosh, I cannot wait to smell this. I think I'm gonna spray it on this hand. I'm, 
I know it would be better if I could, like, not have sprayed it on my hands. I could, like, obviously not smell this perfume at the same time, but what are you gonna do? Okay, I'm taking the lid off, and let's give it a go. We'll see. Oh, okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, this, this one, mm. Definitely a musky scent, and I, I love a musky scent, I have to say, so this one, mm, this one I'm loving. There's definitely like a wood, maybe a cedar, and definitely like bergamot. I have a bergamot body wash, so I'm, it's reminding me of that. I really like this one. This one is it for me. I mean, I thought maybe the pink bottle, but if you like, uh, like more citrusy wood musk smells, you'll, you'll prefer this one. This is one I could see myself wearing on the daily, especially because I like to layer scents. I think if you had like a tangerine or an orange perfume to layer with this, or like, um, a perfume oil, maybe like, uh, yeah, some kind of tangerine or citrus, like, yuzu would be really nice with this. I mean, it's a really nice smelling perfume. I'm interested to see how they both perform, right? Because lots of things can smell good right out of the bottle, but how long does it last? I obviously don't know right now, uh, but I'll try to remember to write in the description how long the scent lasts, because that's what I want to know. Very pretty bottles, though, right? Those are so nice. Alright, I'm gonna have to find a good spot in here to put these before we get super into the makeup as well. I want to open these blush brushes. Typically, Flower Nose has included blush brushes with their collections. Were honestly my least favorite part of the previous collection, so I'm interested to see what these are like. This one on the left is the crystal version, and the one on the right is stellar. Okay, let's go open them. So have a clear handle. Yep. And this one is blue. Like, uh, they're fine. <laughs> you know, they're cute. I like the pastel quality of the two uh, bristles. They look like they've just been dipped in paint, which is cute, but like, you know, they're okay. They're okay brushes. <laughs> I personally like a longer handle on a brush, but it's nice for a travel size, and I think, you know, the clear handles match this collection better than the other ones that we've looked at, so it's a nice bonus, yeah. Okay, let's take a look at some of the, uh, 
actual makeup in his collection. I figure it makes just as much sense to start with the eyeliners as anything else, especially because they're right here in the center of my little crystal. So, I'll just go ahead and unbox these to start. So, there are three eyeliners in this collection. This one that I grabbed there's also a pink and a black one. Let's be honest, the black one is going to get the most use. But it's good to have brown and pink as well, so I'm interested to try these.
color the eyeliner is going to be. It's going to be black, but as far as the actual packaging to is very good. My question is, how long will this stay, um, like, wet before it dries out? Because I'm already seeing, like, a little bit of flare on the end, much like you would get with a calligraphy brush. You know what I mean? So, um, to me, the obvious one to get is the brown, if you want to add a little more definition to the pink did not amaze me, and the black seems kind of like standard fare, you know? So that's the eyeliners. I'm actually going to uh, just move these to the side, I think, just for now, as we are admiring other items. We'll just put those there. Okay, what should we unbox? Actually, I think I want to do the uh, jewelry lip glosses next, so let's do those. Starting with the first one, the products in this set are all numbered, so this one is G 
is called Nude Stellar. The packaging is like, um, pretty similar to the majority of the products we've looked at so far. It's kind of like, um, a gray toned lavender galaxy with this little frame in the middle with the moon. And there are a lot of lip colors in this set, actually. It's kind of interesting because in some of the other um, collections we've unboxed, they've been like lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, but this series is lip glosses, which I love personally. I wear lip gloss way more than lipstick. It's just where I'm at in life. It's easier to wear, and so I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of these. is very aptly named. It's called Jewelry Lip Gloss. Ah, hello. <laughs> this looks like a piece of jewelry. Okay, I'm obsessed with this bottle design. <laughs> this lip gloss tube literally looks like a piece of jewelry. Uh, this might be one of my favorite uh, lip product designs that they've done so far. This little kind of cameo and like the rose gold. It's its flower nose and it has this little silhouette of a mermaid sitting on a moon. The top, now that is cute. It sort of reminds me of like a little wax seal almost. And it's got this really cute little like, oh my gosh, it's like a perfume bottle almost. the actual perfume. But yeah, wow. So pretty. I love the shape of it, everything. So this one is Nude Stellar. Oh, look at the bow spin. Oh, wow. It actually has, like, a lot I'll admit to you, I was hoping it would be a little more sheer. This does not look that sheer. I don't know, let's swatch it. I made a cute little swatch sheet because I thought it would be easier for us to like compare all the colors uh, better here than on my skin because that's a lot. It's gonna get sticky. <laughs> so this one is number one, Nude Stellar. So, it's not super pigmented. That kind of assuages my worries a little bit. Like, it still has some color for sure, but... So, it's sort of like a pinky brown. It's aptly named. It does kind of have like a stellar nude quality. I don't know how this one will look on me. I do not typically wear nude um, lip products. So, who knows? I'm kind of a pinky, red kind of girl, but I'll try it, I'll try it. I'll put this one right here for right now. It does kind of look beautiful with all the jewels, doesn't it? Next one. This one is called Goldfish Pearl. It has very similar packaging to the first one. It's got that lavender gray color. Board and it says GEO2 on the top. So we'll go ahead and open that up. Wow, okay, so this one looks basically identical to the first one we did. 
eyes are the same with colors, but they're not. This one is goldfish pearl, and my brain is so broken that I can't hear the word goldfish without thinking about the snack that smiles back. But, uh, yeah, I think this one, what do you think? It's gonna be, like, peachy, orangey? When I hear goldfish, I think orange. Oh. Oh, I was totally wrong. It's like, so hard to tell just on the applicator. We're gonna have to swatch this for sure. Here's my little swatch page. So this is number two, Goldfish Pearl. Ooh. Oh, I love her. She is. Yes, 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 yes. This one I love. That is very cute. You two just chill there for now. Jewelry lip gloss number three. This one is called Starlight Bubble. Starlight Bubble. Starlight Bubble. Such a pretty name. I love that. one again looks almost identical. <laughs> I have a feeling though there's going to be probably like mm, three or four colors that the uh, lip product packaging is in because that's what it's been like with their other collections. Like there will be shared packaging between lip colors because there's so many it would just be, it would be a lot. Starlight Bubble is the one we're looking at. It's hard to know from the name Starlight Bubble what kind of color we think this will be. <laughs> I have no guesses. It could be anything. I lied. I thought of a guess. Maybe the clear, like a sheer, a completely sheer lip gloss. Do we think they would even make such a thing? like a bright pink. I would never in a million years have guessed this. Wow, I can't wait to swatch this. So this one is number three, Starlight Bubble. A surprisingly bright color. Well, maybe it was just the applicator, because this is like a nude-ish color. I mean, all three of these are pretty neutral. Number three almost seems like a mix of these first two. Mm, I think I like number two the best so far. I mean, we've only done one third of these, so we'll see in the end what we like the best. Put this here. There we go. They look kind of nice there together, don't they? Jewelry lip gloss number four. For here, and the packaging is slightly different on this one, actually. Do you see how it's not quite, um, like the grayish lavender? We've got a little more pinky on this one, and sort of like a more yellow in here. I wonder, do you think that will mean that the actual lip product packaging could be a different color? So number four, this one is called Moonstone. Very pretty. Ooh. We got a pink. 
jewelry lip gloss. Wow, it's very beautiful. You know, the lip products from all these different collections have all been beautiful in their own way, but they tend to be one of the things I like the best. And to be honest, they usually end up the uh, thing I wear the most of any of the pieces. It's just so easy to just throw on a lip color and immediately like it changes your whole vibe okay so this is moonstone what do we think moonstone is gonna be i have no idea can we just talk about the bow on this packaging like i don't know have we've mentioned it before but the bow is so I love this already. I can tell you right now. Okay, 
Ocean Rose and another pink packaging. Let's see what color it is. Oh, yes, very deep. That is possibly the most bright. This always becomes a problem for me. I don't want to leave you so far from your friend. I'll put you right there. <laughs> okay, now I'll do blue boxes. The first blue one is number seven. And this one is called Solar Crystal. I quite prefer the dark blue pack. evocative of the mermaid imagery, in my mind anyway. The dark blue 
blue packaging is very beautiful. Like, you can just picture Ariel holding this. think that in terms of like just the outside packaging, nothing else, the pink bottle is my favorite. The blue is nice too, I think I second runner up, but I like the pink the best, but you know, it's all about the actual product. So this color is Solar Crystal. I have no idea. a very, like, warmer-toned reddish-brown. It's difficult to tell, like, just holding up the wand because these little, um, sponges on the wand applicator, the doe foot applicator, they're gonna tint it pink, so we will have to swatch. So this one will be 07. Now that these are like, some of them are starting to dry down a little bit, I kind of notice something. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but number five, which was Mermaid Steers, has like a little bit of sparkle in it. None of the other ones seem to have sparkle. I don't know if you can see. I might not be able to. It's very subtle. Very warm, sort of like a brown toned red. All of these seem like somewhat sheer. Like you could build them up, but I'm not sure how much actually stays behind once the gloss is dried. It's very curious. I don't know why, but the way I've got this set up reminds me of like an old school, like Avon tester. I'm talking about like anybody who remembers those from like the 90s. It's it's giving that somehow. <laughs> All right, so that's number seven. Oh, we will just put this right here for now. I'm gonna have to rearrange things very soon. We have two more lip products left. This is number eight. over in the name for this one. It is called Blood Moon Illusion. <laughs> Blood Moon Illusion. That is very intense for lip color. I kind of like how weird that is. Okay. It's 
accidentally, um, I've been wearing a lot of amber perfumes lately, so I have high hopes for this one. Number nine, number nine. Twilight Amber, our last jewelry and how much like jewelry do they look? So beautiful, so sparkly. I just love how dimensional they are. The shape and cut of them overall, it really does feel like a really cute item to have in your makeup bag or in your man bag, whatever you like. Will this be the favorite? I'm curious. This one is very brown. The brown lipstick is not my taste. Not because I don't like it, it just looks bad on me. <laughs> but a lot of you guys love brown lipstick, so happy for you. <laughs> and uh, I know you'll like to see this. I love how they smell. That might be one of my favorite. sense that uh, Twilight Amber would be sort of like a rust brown color. I just didn't expect it for some reason. Okay, let's see. Twilight Amber, right there, yeah, look at that. That's very pretty. Very orangey brown. I am so curious, so please leave in the comments number is your absolute favorite. I think for me, I'm definitely going to wear number two a lot, and um, number six for sure, but I also think number eight, number four, I'm interested to try because it's like this almost purpley, cooler tone lipstick. I have no idea how so I'm interested. I don't have super high hopes, but like, what if it looks great? I could. <laughs> Crazier things have happened. Overall, though, yeah. Number two, I love. Six, eight. Number six, too. Mm. Tell me, what is your favorite? And we're gonna open lots more makeup. Oh my gosh. Lots more to go. So, the Moonlight Mermaid color comes with um, two setting powders. Let's go ahead and take a look at those next. It's kind of um, a different direction to go in the last couple of collections. I've noticed they didn't have these. So, like, what will they be like? I have to wonder. The packaging for this one. This is 01 Fair Ivory. Pretty much the same packaging as the other products. It's got this like lavender, pale, purple, pale blue galaxy with all the moon signs. There isn't um, much information beyond the name, which is Fair Ivory. There's this little mermaid here. Can you see that? Pretty. We'll open it up. Uh, is this the setting powder? loose, I wonder. Go ahead and slide this out.
really like Serena's compact. Okay, so all of the metal detailing is in like a rose gold bronzy color. And there's this like sort of maybe resin or some kind of plastic inset. So the design is sort of floating on top. My gosh, that's pretty. I will flip it around. It just color that it's in, 01 Fair Ivory. I'm assuming this is going to be a pressed powder because it's in quite a shallow container. Yep. So I'll just take this little plastic protective sleeve off here. In the pressed powder itself, there is an image of a mermaid in the brand name Flower Notes. You can kind of see it differently when I move like it opens up. Okay, I did not know that it did this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, whoa. There's a little uh, face powder puff in here. I guess this is a really good spot to keep it safe right underneath. So you can just put it like that. Right underneath. That is so cute. So this is a very shade. I mean, it's it should be good for me, but I'm kind of curious to see because the other one is called Fair Beige. Um, not a whole ton of uh, different choices when it comes to pressed powder. I don't know if this shows up as completely sheer or if it's colored. Most of the time I use um, sheer setting completely colorless, so this will be interesting for me to try. It's quite beautiful packaging, but of course with makeup it's all about the actual product too, right? So, I mean, 10 out of 10 for the packaging. Interested to try and see what it's like. Where am I gonna put this stuff? I am gonna is the Fair Beige setting powder. The top design is that lovely mermaid with our scales and little stars, dangling pearls, beautiful sparkles holding up her hair as well. And in the background is this sort of like deep sea velvety. I'm not 
sure which one of these would suit best. It kind of seems like there's a much actual variety in skin tone, but maybe one is like a cooler color than the other. I have to, I have to check this. Let me see. I'm sorry, but these are so close. Like this one is definitely lighter, the fair ivory, but not uh, a lot of option here for like medium or darker skin tones so I would like to see them do that. Very nice packaging though and I'm interested to try them. I'll let you know what I think next time I do get ready with me or something like that. I'll definitely use these. I'm feeling like I want to dive into the jewelry next and then I'm thinking that after that we'll do the eyeshadow palettes because like admittedly I'm the most looking forward to those I love I love the eyeshadow palettes so let's go ahead and do the blushes first the jewelry blushes as they're called Even the shape of this, it literally is like a gem, the way it's beveled on the edges. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness. This feels just like very cunning package, I have to say. Like, the shape of it, the size is very nice. And the way that it has, like, these beveled edges, the jewel shape, it feels very nice. This one is a gorgeous color as well. Very 
smoky like the aurora borealis it's like this lavender and then there's little shots of like green in there as well in my mind the design on the splash is like a love story this mermaid's like oh she doesn't love me but she actually does they just can't A lot of mermaid stories end up being a little bit sad. Very like Hans Christian Andersen, right? A lot of old school fairy tales tend to be a little bit sad. That's okay. Let's take a look at Snow Goddess. I'm sorry, but these are really interestingly weird colors for blushes. They are just so pale. Like even compared to my skin tone, this is a very pale blush. Performance is like on this. Once again, take a look at that gorgeous embossed design in there. It goes from like a very, very, very pale pink to lavender to sort of more dusty rose color. I am somewhat fascinated by these. They feel very odd to me. Like I've never seen such pastel pale colors for blush. Have you ever seen that? I'm curious to know what these are like on a face. I gotta, I gotta try these at some point. Wow. Alright, so that's number one. Snow Goddess. I know we opened it second, but it's just the order I grabbed it. Pardon the uh, inconsistency there, but what are you gonna do? Alright, we'll put that one right there. Beautiful. And only blush in dark blue packaging. So I will bet you the uh, outside of the blush part is going to be in that lovely dark blue we've been seeing. Very pretty. Deep blue for Siren Melody. in the light. You can really see when the light hits it just so. It has all that like sparkle and gorgeousness in the background by these like two mermaids. What color is this gonna be? Siren Melody. Let's see. Oh, okay. This is more Sunset, setting somewhere tropical over the sea. It's got this really bright, gorgeous berry and coral down here. And yeah, this this is a little bit purple as well, but it's not quite as muted as the other ones were. So far, this is the blush that I could see myself picking out more than the other ones because it just has like a more color, you know what I mean? Like that pink is so nice and pretty, especially going into spring, I think would be very nice. So that is a number five, Siren Melody. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite so far, but we have two more blushes still to look at, so we shall see which one wins. Maybe, sort of, kind of. Let's do this blush next. This jewelry blush. This one is number three, Coral Jellyfish. That sounds so nice, doesn't it? Very whimsical name. The Coral Jellyfish packaging is like this pale lilac color. No indication of what the actual blush color is, but Very 
similar to this one. Not quite exactly the same though. The like little green spots in the background are in slightly different positions. Let's stick it out once again. I just love the shape on these. Here on the back we have like the holographic. Flower Nose Moonlight Mermaid series Jewelry Blush Coral Jellyfish Okay, let's take a closer look at the color Oh, wow Look at this This one has like a yellow in it It's like, I guess, more of like a nude color creamy and then it fades to like a more bluey pink and then a more orangey pink as always this design is really beautiful these colors are so interesting to me would you guys buy this with these colors like sight unseen it might be the kind of thing where you kind of need to try it on in person but it can be so hard when you're ordering stuff on gonna look like on you. It's hard to know. But I love the packaging. Oh my gosh. I'll say it a million times. It's just gorgeous. What is the last one gonna look like, do you think? Curious. I have no idea. So this is coral jellyfish. Put that one down here. Look. So, and we'll go ahead and open up this last one. This is number four, Star Moon Tail. And of all of the jewelry blushes, this packaging is the most like rainbowy pastel. It's got purple and blue, yellow, peachy pink, sparkly, sparkly. Beautiful. This one is like a pinky, opal -y kind of color. That is beautiful. This might be the prettiest one to me. Actually, I do like this one here. And the dark blue. Ooh, it's hard to choose. It really is. Alright, let's see. What do we have? Oh, I like this one. Tail. I mean, it has to be said, these blushes are not super different from each other. They are all different, of course, but like, they're not like so out there. Like, we don't have like a red blush and a purpley blush. Like, there's variations. I mean, one has like lavender up here, for goodness sake, but they're all very much in the same color story, which makes me curious about the eyeshadows. Will the eyeshadows have much variation, I wonder? Let's just take a minute to appreciate how gorgeous this blush is. That is just amazing. They really always get me on the blush imprints, the way they stamp these intricate, tiny, little itty-bitty, tiny designs. I just love it. I always also have a little mirror, but I really rarely show that because it doesn't show up that great on camera. But they're nice. It's nice that they have a mirror in them. Wow. Very good. Well, my darlings, like, we are about to hop into these blushes. Are you ready for this? I know I am. Oh, by the way, I just remembered we also have one other little product. This is actually a makeup remover gel for lips. I think this was like a free gift with um, like online orders because when I was checking for details about this, I couldn't find it on the website. So I'm not too 
really sure about if you can actually buy this one or if it's like if you have to order a certain amount. Seems like uh, makeup remover for lips specifically. I've never had a product that is specifically for removing lipsticks. It's just in a tiny little tube. It'll be interesting to try. It's like got the little mermaid on it and everything. They have not had this for other collections. Kind of nice. shadow palette since it's right at the top here. So this is number one Stellar Sand Stellar Sand Very beautiful. It feels quite um hefty <laughs> in my hands. So there's five eyeshadow palettes in total and one of them is dark blue in packaging. This one right here. I wonder what that means. I have no idea. We will see. I am so excited to see what the eyeshadow. Very nice. This is kind of like a neutrals palette. Well, <laughs> as neutral as two sparkle eyeshadows can be. We've got this like very pale nude color. This sort of like um, grayish cool toned brown. This dark chocolatey color. And then like, look at these. Do you see how they shine? or pink one over here. This one is like bronze goddess. Wow. And so the overall design of the eyeshadow palette is like, it's the kingdom like we saw on the top, but there's like a little door in the windows to the palace. So, so pretty. Wow. This might be the most beautiful item on the outside. This 
since the packaging was a different color on this one, I knew the actual palette would likely be a different color too. Let's compare them, I'm just so curious. So you can see, both definitely have that like pearlescent shine, but you can see how like the different colors kind of reflect differently between them. I don't know, I'll put that one back for now. This is not your of an in shipping. Like it's got like the little crunch on this corner. I'm sure the palette's fine, but... Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. This one's like very rainbowish, actually. This one reminds me of like a pearl on the beach. It's just so rainbow.
shadows in this one, this lovely iridescent purple. Oh, I love that. And then a sparkly glittery pink. Personally, I never find myself wearing glittery pink eyeshadow, but it just does not look good on me. This one would be my pick. This is actually an understated but amazing eyeshadow as well. It's sort of a periwinkle lavender. Again, this would be so to do like a full solid lid in this color, like gorgeous. And then kind of, I was about to say humdrum, but that's kind of mean to this pink. It's a very simple pink. And on this side we have another lovely warm chocolate brown. This is a good one. Ooh, do I like this one more or the more eyeshadow palette to open and then we'll look at everything together of course not to worry the final eyeshadow palette that we're going to open and last makeup in this collection. I was not impressed with the blushes. I did not really see shades that I would ideally be wearing, but like there's a lot of eyeshadows that I'm into here. They feel very whimsical, but you know, like I don't really feel like you'd have to do a mermaid look with these, you know what I mean? Like I could totally incorporate these colors into my 
anything from this 